Good morning and welcome to Kingdom Sewing. Today we're actually going to be doing one of our Kimberbell club designs and we are going to be doing this darling pencil pouch. So I have my trusty assistant right here that's going to be sewing it out for us. So you'll hear my voice in the background tell, asking her to do this or that and hopefully you'll enjoy this video and we're ready to go. Okay, so what Mary has here on the table that you may not be able to see, it might be off screen, but she has all of the fabrics already prepped for the small pencil pouch. And before she started, she has pressed her materials these three materials, her beige for the bottom of the pencil, her pink for the top of the eraser, and her black and gray for the band around the pencil in half lengthwise. She has also taken a piece of the lining material and pressed it approximately an inch down from the top on the long the long side of the material so with all of that that's all of her stuff already prepped she's also got a piece of batting and she is going to go ahead and she's loaded the, the pattern into her destiny and she is going to go ahead and sew the placement stitches for the design. You may hear some other sewing machines in the background. We're lucky enough to have this beautiful classroom that Kingdom Sewing provides for us and uh, we have some additional sewers in the background that wanted to come down this morning. Okay, so the next thing she's going to do is she is she is going to stitch We're going to cut a, a slightly larger piece of batting out for this and she is going to put her okay she's just placing it over her placement stitches and she's going to go ahead and run the plate it's going to do another placement over the top of this Now her placement is completely done. The next thing she's going to do is she's going to take her 
fabric for for the top and place it um, place it face up over the top of her her rectangle in the center. You want me to tape it down? No. Well, I didn't. Yeah, but does it tell you in the instructions? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice color choice. <laughs> At this point, Mary, you can cut off some of the excess fabric at the bottom. And you always want to make sure that your hoop is sitting on a flat surface when you go to cut your excess fabric off so that you don't accidentally distort the stabilizer that's in the hoop. Next, she's going to take her, her beige fabric for the pencil, the beige fabric for the bottom of the pencil, okay? And she's going to, oh, I didn't have to fold that in half. I thought I did. I am so sorry, Mary. Mary, did you just fold me to do that? I just put that. I just put that on Here. the seam. Here, just take that one and I'll do this. Didn't have to fold this one. And she's putting it face down and just slightly right there on the line because it's going to be flipped over the top of the end of your pencil. I was just making sure it was right side. want to use your handy dandy multi functional tool and pull that down and just press along that that line okay and go ahead and run your next stitch Now, I could change colors here, but... Well, none of these stitches are actually going to show, so it should be fine. Okay, the, the next color you're going to put down, Mary, is black, so if you didn't want to cut that off, you wouldn't have to. Just make that turn a little thinner. And that one is also going to be placed right on the line and you're going to flip it down as well. So I could change to black, but I don't need to, right? No, you do not need to. All of these stitches are hidden, so there's no need to have to worry about, about um, moving to a different color.
Now what it's going to do is it's going to sew a tack down stitch across the top. You don't need to do anything, you don't need to pull anything out yet, Mary, is you're going to go ahead and sew the placement line for the zipper. So go ahead and sew the placement line for the zipper. And now you're going to go ahead and take that out of the hoop and can you, and what you're going to do Mary is you're going to cut the excess fabric out from where the zipper is going to go but make sure that you don't cut your stabilizer. Okay. You might want to use those other scissors. I think you'll, you'll like them a little bit better. You think? I do. Close? Yep, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and while she's doing this, I'm just going to check with the other ladies and see how they're doing. Carol, how are you doing? I haven't done anything yet. I got all my fabric organized. Okay, perfect. Have you pressed your I'm the top? The way. Okay. Oh, come on over. <laughs> and you ladies, are you guys doing okay? I somewhere I've lost because it's not. Oh, that just stitches out. Okay. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Yep. Close enough. Perfect. Okay, so go ahead and put it back on your hoop. And what you're going to do now, well, actually set it, I'm sorry, Mary, go ahead and set it over here. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to lay your zipper down. And you want to make sure that um, your zipper pull is over here on your left. In and the opening? Yeah, the, the opening. And you can pull it, you know, and then you may want to go ahead and tape it across here. So I would take three strips of tape and put one in the center. Yeah, they don't need to be quite that long, but, yeah. but you definitely is gonna keep that puppy in place. and then one in the center. Kimberbell and, tape. and the wonderful thing about Kimberbell tape is it, it peels off so nicely after you've actually sewn through it. So there you go. Go ahead and put it back on your machine. Now at this point, Mary, you might want to change to a gray color that would match the zipper so that it doesn't actually show. Uh, no, I'm going to go ahead and stay with the gold. Okay. I'm going to be outside the box here. Of course. Hit that. And it's doing a almost like a bean stitch. So it's going forward once and back twice so that it does a very nice tack down stitch. And you want to make sure that you're using a plas a nylon zipper, not plastic, uh, because you are going over the end of the zipper. So make sure that you're not using a metal zipper. I don't believe that your machine would appreciate that much. Okay. 
Mary, you can go ahead and remove the tape, um, at least from the center. To worry too much because that's a placement line Mary and and it's going to actually uh, you're going to use that okay so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to place your gray material with the fold line pressing toward you and just barely over your stitch line here that you just did. This stitch line on the zipper, babe. There you go. On the, I'm sorry, right? Because what's gonna happen is this is going to sew right along here and then it's gonna fold up and it's going to cover up those stitches. So as long as you're right here on top of your, at the top of your gold material, mm -hmm. and even though you were a little close on that gold, you're not going to have any problems because now it's about an eighth of an inch down, so you're good to go. Okay? Is this a question or is this a... No, this is an actual tack down. And now go ahead and fold your material up and using your little multi-tool, press that, that line that you just did. And if you'd like, you can hold it down with tape, with Kimberbell tape. So that it's going to sew right on that line. And Mary, this is where you might want to um, change your thread. It's up to you, of course, but this thread will be seen. Okay, so if you want to change it to black or gray, or you can leave it with the gold. It's obviously your choice. So Mary's contemplating on what she wants to do here. Always, always. I'll do this. The, um, the Destiny, it's such a quick, a quick uh, machine to go ahead and thread. It only takes a second or so. Picking the colors harder. <laughs> True, picking the colors a little harder.
whole job. Okay, so before we move on to the next step, we're going to check the tack down line to be sure that the fabric is easy, evenly spaced next to the zipper. If you're pleased with the stitches, and I think they look great, um, then we're going to go ahead and move on to step 29. So Mary, how do you feel about those stitches? Looks fine to me. Okay. If the fabric had shifted, if the fabric had shifted while she was stitching, she could go ahead and remove those stitches and actually remove the bottom stitches and back up two steps and move her her fabric a little closer to the zipper, but I think she looks great. So, let's go ahead and move on to step 29. Okay, so at this point, Mary, you're going to pull the hoop off the machine and you're going to take a um, a Kimberbell a Kimberbell CD case, set it on your machine, flip your 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 hoop over and see how that makes a nice table for the um, hoop when she's going to go in and she's going to cut out the stabilizer right out of here. This way she knows she's not going to accidentally push her her fabric out of her hoop. So if you have some of those old CD cases sitting in your in your video library at home, it's a really good idea to leave the leave an empty one in your bag to take back and forth to classes or make sure that you leave it next to your Kimberbell book um, so that you have a CD case to use for this because it certainly makes it a lot nicer, don't you think, Mary? Oh, yes. Very much easier than worrying about pushing it out of the... And Mary, you might want to go ahead and you can go ahead and pull just a little bit of the stitches out from from over here too. Sorry guys, I had to move it down to where I could see it, get, reach it. Go ahead and go over. Yes, because just a little bit so um, that way you know that you're past. There you go, perfect. Okay, so before you flip it back over, Mary, you're going to take the, the lining fabric, the one that has the one inch folded down, okay. and you're going to place that right on the bottom and you're going to tape it and you want to make sure that you're you've got enough room at the bottom and that you have you're not going over the center of your your zipper line okay and then go ahead and tape it down with your Kimberbell tape and in this case you know more is always better just to be on the on the safe side because you'd hate for this to come loose during the sewing process. And notice she went over the edge of her hoop so that she makes sure that when she puts it onto her machine, it's going to stay in place. You should be fine. It's not, uh, yeah, you should be fine. Once she has it, her hoop placed back on her embroidery arm, what I normally do is I put it on my machine and then gently lift up on the right hand side of the, the, the hoop and just check underneath to make sure that when I slid it onto the bed of the embroidery 
the embroidery arm, it did not curl down my fabric. Okay, are you happy? I think so. Okay, then what it's going to do now is it's going to do, it's actually going to tack down your lining on the back. Off and running in Hollywood yeah. Park. And you left it with the gray thread, correct? Because yes. it's going to go back over the top of your zipper again. So you want to leave it with the thread that you like for the color here. The thread, um, the threads that are going down each side and across the bottom aren't going to be seen. They're going to be in the um, in the seam line. So you don't have to worry about that. But you don't want your your fabric your your thread to be shown right there where it went down the your zipper pull and it's making a double stitch kind of designed mm -hmm. actually it's doing it's going to be doing several rows i think it's doing four rows right there very similar to how how the edge of your pencil looks for a uh, right there at the band of your pencil. Mm -hmm. So while while we're doing this, how's everyone else doing? Okay. 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 Carol, you okay? Yep, there. Okay. definitely wants to make sure that's tacked down. this fabric that our quilting our quilting um, store across the parking lot from us chose for this kit it really does look like a number two pencil I think okay at this point Mary now you're going to at this point you might want to change your thread to maybe a bubblegum pink When you get to, um, may I have your pink? When you, ladies, when you get to your pink top, notice that you have a design in the the pink. So if you want your the what kind of looks like bananas to me, but if you want the swirls to be up, make sure that that you lay your fabric with the swirls in the up position 
if you flip it over your swirls are kind of going in the down position I think it kind of looked better in the up position kind of reminded me of a pencil so but it's your choice on what you'd like Down. Yes, so what you're going to do here, Mary, is you're just going to make sure that it's covering the stitch line that you had sewn down your zipper with, and it's going to go right across there. Perfect. But it's totally a preference on what you want to do on how you want that, that down. Now, what they say to do is... Oh, Mary's going to be a rebel. She's thinking that she likes the swirl going like, down instead of like up. smiles. Okay, so if you'd like, you can put a couple pieces of tape on the fold line. Make sure that the fold is facing the zipper. I did wear the right color blouse to go with this. It kind of matches the bubblegum pink. Yes. I wasn't sure we had a dress code today, but you and I both have bubblegum pink on today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Might have been easier to take if I would have taken it out of the, <laughs> out of the machine. Well, don't worry about it because it's not actually going to go that far into the, toward the hoop. So. Okay, so once that's sewn down, you're going to go ahead and take off your tape, take the hoop out of the machine, you can leave these if you'd like on the side. And flip your hoop over and you are going to actually flip your hoop over and with the fold line toward the zipper Lay your lining fabric down. And go ahead and tape. It a lot easier to tape. Yes, it does. That's it? Yep. And go ahead, slide it back on the hoop. Verify that you haven't you haven't uh, rolled that lining fabric up and then go ahead and do the tack down stitch for for the lining. It uh, looks fine. Perfect. Okay. And you want to make sure that you've left your pink in because it's going to do a tack down across your eraser. Now, the next step, Mary, you're going to do is you're going to do the decorative stitches that go down the pencil. So, do you want to go back with your your orange. orange. Okay. Just wanted to make sure you had ample time in case you needed to check and see if you wanted a different color. Um, you're also going to want to get a color that goes with your beige part of the pencil. You don't need it in the next step, but you will need it. Okay, 
Okay, you're going to change your thread to your goal to do the decorative stitches inside the, the number two pencil line. So out. Um, Mary, what does your time on your machine say? Uh, total 10 minutes. Yeah, total time is 10 minutes. Of course, that doesn't include the time to uh, change your threads. So probably the total time on this project is about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, this same project in the medium size. This is the small, this is the medium, and if you notice, they're both the same width, so they're just a little longer, and then the large is actually a little longer than this, and um, the small is done in a five by seven hoop, where the medium and the large are both done in the six by 10 hoop. some speed races with everybody to see who can who can uh, thread their their machines the fastest oh. Oh, camera, I'd say so. <laughs> now this this stitch here is only going to do the beige part of the pencil pouch it's not going to actually go down into the black pencil line And remember that these colors are just suggested colors. Um, pencils come in all different colors. So if you maybe be doing it for your daughter, your granddaughter, the little girl down the street, you know, you might want to change the color to purple or pink, you know, so that <laughs> theirs are different. You can also, at this point, before you put the, li the lining on, you could actually embroider their name right here in the pencil area. So, but we're not going to do that today. What am I doing now? Okay, so now that you've done that, you, the money piece, you wanna make sure that you move your zipper at this point into the center of your pouch because if you don't you're going to be taking out stitches to be able to get your zipper pull into the pouch area there we go zipper that two blanks okay so anywhere right in the and make sure that your zipper pull is is held down also at this point if you wanted to, you could put a piece of fold over elastic up here by the um, eraser or right here on the zipper so that you could put maybe a carabiner or a uh, keychain lock so that it would clip to the side of the child's backpack or inside their notebook. But I don't think we're going to do that today, are we, Mary? We're just going to yeah. go ahead and... Not for the little one. For, not for the little one. So at this point, she's going to take her, the back of her fabric, which is, which is the dark one, face down on top of the hoop. And making sure that it goes over the bottom edge of... You've got plenty of room up here, so you can pull it down just a tad if you'd like, if you feel you, you need it. Okay. Okay. 
and if you'd like you can tape it down on all four corners just to hold it down. Mary asked if we were putting the back on and we're not quite to the back. We've only got a couple more steps. This is going to actually do the full outline of the pencil. Okay. Face down, right? Face down. Zippers. Zippers pulled into the center. We're good. Okay. And it should be the complete outline of the zipper, I mean of the pencil pouch. Yep, all, the all the way around. Okay, let's go. Ladies, are you doing okay still? Okay, good. I guess we're going to leave a turn or something. No, not on the top, not on this one, on the next one. Well, then how am I going to turn that? Oh, the <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Okay, now she's going to go ahead and take the hoop off her machine. Don't take the material out of the hoop. And she's going to place her, her lining fabric on the back and she's going to tape it down and she can use the same tape if she wants. Or she's going to use some more. Up or down? Doesn't matter. Well, the uh, uh, right side down. Yes. Right side down. Good thing you can't tell on this one. Yes. Say with my tape, right? Sorry. <laughs> I was planning on giving you a larger piece, but it decided that it didn't want to. I wasn't trying to be so chintzy with it, you know. It said, Melody, you have enough tape on there already. Okay, this is the one that you want to make sure that your lining fabric is not rolled on the back and it's going to leave about a two or three inch opening when it sews. So that you're able to turn this around. Once she's completed this, what, she, what Mary's going to do is she's going to take it over to um, the cutting board and she's going to leave a quarter inch all the way around her... I can take it off. Yes, you can take it off as soon as it's done. You can take it off and we're going to flip it over so that we might be able to see that it's left an opening right here so she's going to go over to the cutting board and she's just going to cut about a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside edge and then she we're going to turn it well let's go ahead and I can take, I can take it out right? yep and we'll be back in just a couple seconds So let me, while she's doing that, let me flip this right side out so you can kind of see, I mean, 
inside out so that you can kind of see where she's at. She's now at the point where she is going to cut all the way around it and pull her fabric right side out through the small opening that we had right here on the side of the pencil pouch. ladies how are you all doing in, in my class uh, we have some great specials here at kingdom if you would like to come down and talk to either Tim or Gina I was told this morning that our new Solaris 2 machines are supposed to arrive in the next couple days so if you're thinking about upgrading from your current machine to the Solaris 2, uh, Tim has said that he's going to have some great prices on those machines. And if you'd like to give him a call, he'd be happy to talk to you about the new Solaris. How are we doing, Mary? Almost done. Also, our pop-up shop from Kimberbell is still here at the store so if you weren't able to visit us during the our zoom class for the vintage the vintage floral that we had last week or so the pop-up shop itself is still still here at the store and we, and gina had gotten in a bunch of new designs as well as some coordinating vinyls and buttons to go along with it. We're hoping to have um, some of the stuff that we've ordered like the Twilight Boulevard Boulevard, um, coming in in the next day or two as well. Next week for the um, embellishment for CD. Okay. So we should have that. And Mary is, Mary? Yeah, skip that. Thanks. <laughs> Mary was cleaning off the the um, cutting the table. cutting table that she needed to come back to play with us. So now what she's going to do is she's going to go ahead and she is going to actually bring her 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 um, pencil pocket right through the opening that she's left. Yeah. And using her handy dandy multifunctional tool, pressing tool that she was using to press her seams, she can also use that as her point turner uh, to get those points nice and sharp. Hardest part of the whole thing. And don't worry about getting too precise because remember you're going to have to turn it one more time. Now at this point, may I, may I take it for just a second? At this point, you can do a couple things. You can go over to the iron and you can press this and hand sew the opening or you can use fabric tack and use um, wonder clips just to hold it in place for a couple minutes. We're gonna skip that part for right now and we're just going to have Mary open it up a little bit more so that she can, she doesn't have to worry about it too much because she's gonna need to point those, those points the other direction when she flips it one more time. Yeah, if you flip the zipper open a little, if you get the zipper pull, you can push it the other way. 
it. So you say. So I say. It worked for me. I got it a little bit. Okay. So you should be able to get it flipped now the opposite direction. And of course on camera, you know, you're a little more nervous. So <laughs> I should have flipped. I should have ironed it. But. It's okay. You'll be able to do that after afterwards. But we just wanted to. Ta -da! So she's gonna. Um, she's probably gonna take it back and turn it right uh, inside out to actually use fabric tack and then press it but we just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like right now and she'll she'll fix these corners to make them a little sharper but it's a darling project we hope you have fun doing it if you have any questions please don't hesitate to call kingdom and talk to gina or call myself and i will be happy to walk you through it thanks so much for joining us today